although I didn't completely love the light in the forest, I feel like it addresses something really important and gives a really interesting look from two different perspectives. It's also very interesting for Disney to do a film about Native Americans at this time. This was released in 1958, and it's not negatively racial towards the Native Americans. Um, I feel like it represents both the white people and the Native American people and shows that actually these conflicts are man-made. Um, this is a Disney film directed by Herschel Doherty, written by Lawrence Edward Rotkin. And it's based on the novel by Conrad Richter, or Richter. I haven't read the novel. If you know how it compares, please feel free to let me know. But this focuses on uh, a young boy, well, a, a young adult, called um, Johnny Butler, or True Son, played by James MacArthur. He was a, he's a white boy who was raised by a Native American family. That's the name True Son. Johnny Butler is his um, birth name, if you like. And because of a, a treaty, a pact that has been signed between some of the, the white society and the Native Americans, True Son is forced to return to live in white society. But he has grown up with the Native American family. Although he knows that he is white by birth, he identifies as Native American. And he moves back to this family. And initially it's about him kind of not fitting in about him being forced to change his identity back to being a white person when that's that's not who he is and i think there straight away is an interesting discussion to be had about what does it mean to identify as a particular culture obviously a native american is a particular what's the word i'm looking for particular genetics um and obviously true son doesn't have those genetics but if he's been raised by native americans he's got the beliefs of the average native american is that not enough? And, and similarly, if a Native American child was raised by a white family and they had white family, you know, typical beliefs of a white society, is that not enough to make them part of white society? So I think that in itself is really interesting. And it's about kind of working out where True Son belongs and where he should belong and where he feels he belongs. But then there are various things where Native American characters and white characters come up against each other and... I'd say the white characters are definitely more negative about the opposite society, which I think worked very well. Had it been the other way on, especially given the time and how a lot of, you know, traditional Indian characters, if you like to put that in air quotes, were depicted in cartoons and things, it was usually a very negative, basically racist depiction. Whereas here, I think the balance is much more fair. It feels more realistic. It feels like if this was a true story, apparently it is loosely based on true figures and true... Um, and real people but it's not a, a carbon copy of a true story but I feel like if this was true true son would have those emotions that he goes through and it would be a fairly accurate depiction in in my in my opinion um of course that could be wrong I have no idea what it would feel like to be in this situation but it was very interesting to see his character to see how he responded to things to see how the opposite societies reacted to the same situations and that in itself was very interesting. As I said, the narrative itself I didn't care for too much. I felt like sometimes the pacing was a little bit slow. The characters were relatively interesting. We had some really good dialogue. And I think that helped to drive things forward for me personally, rather than, say, a, a juicy, gripping narrative. But it was very thought-provoking. We had a lot of bagpipes in this. Me being Scottish, I never thought I'd say this, but there were too many bagpipes um I, it just felt a little bit weird and out of place to be honest um this is set in uh, 1764 by the way in pennsylvania which is not a common time place or location for me when i gravitate towards certain films so that was a little bit different the costumes look pretty good not entirely sure how history historically accurate they are but nevertheless i liked looking at them so atmospheric yes thought-provoking some great acting and uh, we also have fez parker who plays del hardy um and the narrative is interesting i didn't as i said i didn't love it i didn't love the pacing of it i didn't necessarily love the progression of it um but certainly there was a lot in it that um kept my attention i'd say it's a film that's definitely worth watching at least once